Esteban, and we are back with another All American Print Supply webinar. As you may have read from the title description, today we're going to be going over direct to garment printing on 100% polyester fabric. Before we get started, I do want to mention really quick our YouTube channel. It's going to be AA Print Supply Co., and that's on YouTube.com. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, tap that post notification bell so you never miss any of our awesome content, and drop some thumbs up if you enjoy any of our awesome videos. I want to mention really quick also our new website, which is aaprintsupplyco.com. Make sure you register for an account and make purchases while logged in, because we just came out with a brand new loyalty rewards program. You can earn and accrue points on every purchase, good towards future items on the website. So make sure you don't miss out on this awesome chance to save some cash on things we already need for our operation. Now, as we mentioned, we're doing the polyester with the direct to garment. Today I'm standing next to the brand new Epson F3070. I can go on about this machine for days, but we do have some awesome videos on the printer on the YouTube channel, so make sure you check those out. Next to the printer, we have our Stahl's Hotronic 1620 Auto Clamp. Great all-American made machine, lifetime warranty, and uh, it's gonna be our partner in crime for today's presentation. And over here, I have my personal favorite pre-treat machine. This is the Mr. T1 from Ecofreen. I love this machine because the pump strength is able to handle the thicker pre-treat solution that we use for polyester fabric. Uh, we have a couple great options available on the website from Epson, and today we're gonna to be working with the Ecofreen polyester pre-treat, brand new, and I think you guys are gonna like it. So, getting into it. If you're familiar with direct-to-garment, you probably already know that ring-spun cotton is sorta of gonna be our bread and butter. They're well-made, the fibers are very tightly woven, they hold up to the heat, and they print beautifully. Now, if you think about performance wear, athletic apparel, even blends, many times you're gonna have high percentages of polyester. In our case today, 100% for this athletic garment here. What is polyester? In a general term, it's basically a synthetic man-made polymer. I know that sounds kind of scientific, but this is essentially a type of plastic. This is gonna be a little more sensitive to the high heat. So where I normally am doing my pressing, drying, curing at about 350 degrees Fahrenheit, Today my heat press is set to 285, and I'm also using a very light pressure. This is gonna help me prevent any kind of impressions or discoloration from that heating element, and it's gonna take us to our first step, which is the pre-press. Now as you can see, my garment or your garment may have some wrinkles or even moisture from packaging or storage, so to make sure we have a nice smooth surface to pre-treat, to print, to cure, we're gonna give it just a couple moments in that machine. So we're gonna bring this over right now, Again, light pressure, guys. Just needs about a moment in there to smooth out any wrinkles that we may have. That should be good. Bingo. And we mentioned we're working with the Ecofree Mr. T1. Got that pump strength that can handle all the different pre-treat solutions on the market, even the thicker polyester that we're working with today. We're gonna go ahead and open up the drawer. Now I'm slowing this down as well so I can lay down a little more pre-treat. I usually run it at about a five. I've slowed it down to a four and I'm doing round trip, which means two passes of pre-treat spray. I'm gonna go ahead and load this into the machine. Tuck the material in the under drawer. And hit start. Now, for the best results, I highly recommend taking a little more time when you're drying your pre-treat by either setting it aside to air dry naturally or under the heating element so that it can start that hover step and start to pull the moisture out, let that really absorb in. This will help prevent starchiness or stiffness in the garment so we get our best final product. Now that we've pre-treated our 100% polyester t-shirt, we're gonna take this over and set it on the heat press. Again guys, letting it air dry, giving it longer hover time, that's gonna give us our best results. Now for the sake of time, earlier today we actually pre-treated a few garments with that Epson uh, excuse me, the Ecofreem Polyester Pre-Treat, and we got them all air dried up and ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this here, and today we're working with our Cathari Neo Rip software. Great way to really get the full potential out of these printers, details like gradients or fades, uh, ink coverage savings. It's an estimated about 40% versus the traditional rip, so really great to go with. And we also have this paired with our barcode automation system. More information on all of that on our YouTube channel. So. I have all the information for my quality settings, my image, uh, my print location. All I gotta do is give this a quick scan. 
data is received here. I can check my mock-up, make sure that's the print I want to send. I don't have to make any adjustments. I'm going to go ahead and hit print. Now data is being sent to my printer. I'm going to go ahead and load the garment here. You figure a men's design is typically about two, maybe three fingers from the neckline. I'm going to secure this in place with my hoop. Data is being sent from the RIP software to the machine here. And again, guys, great way to speed things up. Many times our print operator, we're dragging in files, we're adjusting our quality settings, we're positioning the print on the software. This has all of that taken care of. And to make sure that it's gonna be the exact print that we need, we have that mock-up there to review the position, the garment color, so we can really cut down on any kind of loss and just keep our profit margins where we want them to be. So we're gonna go ahead and send this in in just a moment. Printer's warming up here. And we're gonna see how this polyester pre-treat holds up with the Ipsen DTG ink that we've come to know and love. We'll see you in just a moment. Now it's time to send the design into the printer. Now this is gonna be a really quick one here, and that's thanks to the dual print head technology inside the F3070. In a single pass, we're looking at almost simultaneous wide underbase CMYK printing. This is gonna come out great. I'm already starting to see some of this white underbase adhering. It's a great sign that we did not only a good pre-treat, but dry as well. Again, guys, for best results, and to prevent that stitchy, starchy kind of feel on the garment, let it air dry, give it some time, or give it a long hover in your heat press to really let that moisture absorb in so we get a great poly print. I'm already starting to see CMYK coming out on top. Can't wait to show you how awesome this is gonna come out. Again, guys, remember, this is 100% polyester. You can now offer all the great athletic apparel, performance wear, even high poly count blends, and get the same great result that we've come to know and love with the Epson DTG. There we are, that white really pops. You know, this printer also combines the security and protection of ink cartridge microchip infiltration, but the savings of a bulk bag system. Oh, you guys gotta see this. Look at that. All the detail, all the opacity. This came out awesome. 100% polyester, you guys. You saw it was that easy. Now we're not done yet. As far as curing this ink, we're gonna be doing things a little bit differently as well. So my pre-treated shirt that we sprayed at the beginning of the presentation, I'm gonna set that aside, let it continue to air dry. It's been hovering for this whole time, so we're probably almost there. But now we're gonna go over how we're gonna cure this sensitive to high heat material. Now as you may remember, I let you guys know we're printing uh, everything at 285, which is a little bit lower temp. So that means we're gonna be doing more presses. And we're gonna be doing 30 second intervals. This is gonna help us cooperate with the sensitive material, but still cure the design in so it stays in there nice and solid. Bring this over to my heat press. Now a habit I like to get into and encourage all of our DTG customers, before you actually close the machine, we're gonna hover this part as well. Now by that, I mean we're not gonna quite shut the heat press, but rather lower it so that the heating element's in close proximity to the wet print, so it'll start to dry a little more naturally without any contact. Now, a must have for any directed garment setup is gonna be these thickly coated double-sided sheets. I'm gonna lay this on top of the wet print so it'll protect my heating element from any kind of foreign soil, wet pre-treat, undried ink, keep my uh, heating element nice and clean. That should be a decent hover for a print of this size. We're gonna go ahead and put this over the wet image. And again, we're using a very light pressure. This is set to a one. This is meant to help prevent any kind of discoloration or heat element impressions on the material. We're gonna close this down. Both of my timers on my heat press are set to 30 seconds. Again, this is the Stahl's Hotronic 1620 Auto Clam, available at aprintsupplyco.com. So what that means is at the end of the timer, the electromagnet in the machine is gonna pop it up for me in a nice, smooth, controlled motion. So if you have a, maybe your setup in a place of business, or if you have walk-in customers, things that may call for your attention while you're printing, 
The auto open feature is a great way to keep from burning or any sort of loss and uh, take care of the opening for us. I'm gonna go ahead and close this again down. We're gonna give it another 30 seconds. Now, if this were a cotton garment, for the quality level that we did and the size of the print, about a minute and a half would be solid, but that's gonna be pressing at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Because it's polyester, we dropped that temp down to 285. I'm gonna advise for something of this size, a minimum of four 30 second presses. That's gonna come out to two minutes, but with that sort of heat, time, and the low level one pressure, we should get a nice long lasting final print for our customers. That's two. We keep you track at home, we're gonna give this another one here. One of the things I like about the Stahls brand of heat presses, in addition to the lifetime warranty on this heating element, 24 hour day customer support. If you have technical assistance early in the morning, if you have a question late at night, there's always someone there 365 days a year. That's why we love to sell these machines and offer them. They do great with DTG. We got one more press to go guys. We're on round three of our 30 second light pressure, 285 degree Fahrenheit presses. And then we should be all good, ready for retail. Now those sheets that you saw I covered the print with, they're highly reusable. With your prints, I would say probably about 100 garments. Uh, I don't like to mix up my sheets, however. And by that, I mean I like to have maybe one dedicated sheet for drying the ink, and maybe a second dedicated sheet for drying the pre-treat. This is so we don't have any sort of cross-pollination or reintroducing a pre-treat to a print, just to keep things nice and tidy. Coming in on the final seconds, guys. After that, we should be all cured up and good to go. Again, that was four presses, 30 seconds, 285 degrees Fahrenheit, and a level one, or very light pressure. Here. Bingo, guys. This is cured, this is sealed in, this is not going anywhere. I got all my detail, thanks to my Cathari NeoRib software. And you saw that getting my image from the computer to the printer was a breeze thanks to the brand new barcode automation system. Again guys, the YouTube channel has awesome walkthroughs, breakdowns, tutorials on everything that we're working with today, so make sure you head over to AA Print Supply Co. that's on YouTube.com, hit the subscribe button, and drop some thumbs up if you like any of our awesome adventures. Man, polyester printing is now more than ever the easier to get into and incorporate into your process. You saw we just made some few minor changes there. We're getting ready to throw it over to a PowerPoint to kind of recap some of those details, but if you have any further questions on anything we've gone over today, any of the steps, products, or processes, hit that link in the Zoom chat, connect with the representative for more information about moving forward. Uh, again, the new website has the Loyalty Rewards Program where as long as you register and you're logged in with your account, you can earn points back on every purchase, accrue them over time, and those are good towards future items on the website. Man. Super happy with how this print came out, guys. Hope you guys are excited about offering something like this to your customer base. Not hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed our demonstration of direct-to-garment printing onto polyester fabric with the Epson DTG. While this process may seem daunting on paper, as you can see, with just a few adjustments to the process, we're able to get great results. I want to recap for a moment the settings, processes, and products used to perform this. For more information on anything that we covered today, be sure to hit the link in the Zoom chat to connect with the representative. We are looking to always improve as well, so if you have any comments, remarks, or suggestions for either this or a future webinar, we have a link for that as well, and your input is greatly appreciated. Let's take a look how we made it happen. So the first thing we did was loosen our pressure. While my heat press is typically set to about a four or five, for drying and curing DTG on polyester, I had this loosened to level one. Using less force helps us avoid discoloration and the impression from the heating element onto the material. Remember, we mentioned that this is going to be more sensitive to high heat, and this will help bring out the best final product. To that point, we're also going to be using a lower temperature. As I normally have my heat press set to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, for the polyester we're advising 285 for all drying steps. Again, we're trying to compensate for the characteristics of the specific material. The next part is going to be the pre-treat. With a high concentration of polyester, we want to pair that with a suitable pre-treat solution, and we offered selections from both Epson and Ecofreen that we've successfully tested with this type of material. As I mentioned during the demonstration, we want to apply a little more solution to the material to get a good print, so I advise a higher saturation. 
Hit the link in the Zoom chat to connect with the representative to go over proper settings for your pre-treat machine. Today on the Mr. T1, I slowed my normally level 5 speed to a level 4, and I applied two passes of pre-treat, also known as round trip on this machine. Now let's talk about drying this pre-treat. Ideally, an air dry will work best to prevent any sort of stiff or starchy feel to the fabric. To speed things up, we can heat press, but I recommend a longer hover underneath the heating element before we actually close the machine. Longer the better as time allows. When we do heat press the pre-treated fabric, be sure to lay down a protective sheet like in the video to protect our heating element from any pre seized solution that may still be damp. After we have successfully printed our graphic to our polyester garment, it's time to cure the print. Before we close the machine, which will still be set to 285 Fahrenheit, we're going to lower the heating element close to the ink to begin the drying process without contact. When we do close the heat press, again with very light pressure, we're going to apply 30 second intervals for a total of 2 minutes or 4 presses. With those settings, we can seal in a solid print to the polyester. Well, that just about wraps it up for the DTG onto the poly. I hope this was useful information for those of you in attendance. For more information on how to maximize your print operation, be sure to head over to the YouTube channel. That's AA Print Supply Co. on YouTube.com and hit the subscribe button. Drop some thumbs up or comments if you enjoy any of our content and tap that post notification bell so you never miss an episode. All of the equipment and supply we used is available at our new website, aaprintsupplyco.com. And if you make an account and purchase while logged in, you can accrue points back through our new loyalty rewards program, good towards future items on the website. It's that easy. Link is in the Zoom chat to connect with the representative to learn more about moving forward with this sort of setup we have shown today, as well as the link for feedback or suggestions on this or a future presentation. My name is Estevan. We are All-American Print Supply. Thank you so much for hanging out with us on the webinar today, and we'll see you in the next one. Stay safe.